Getting the talisman of air will be an interesting challenge, but I'll need it if I want to get the eye for Constantine. It's well hidden inside the city's hammer temple, so I'll have to do some scouting around. Problem is, the place is fully active day and night. Not even I can stay undetected for very long. Well, they say that the best place to hide a letter is on the mantelpiece. With that in mind, I'll be going in by the front door, dressed as a Hammerite novice. That should be perfect since novices aren't allowed to speak while on the temple grounds. My contacts can get me a novice's pass to get me through the gate. Once inside, I'll be free to take my time, explore the place thoroughly, and find the talisman. As long as I don't do anything violent or get caught somewhere I shouldn't be. Because as the new arrival, I'll be the first person they'll suspect if anything goes wrong. Undercover. From what I hear, I think this one isn't very well liked in general, but personally, I like it because it kind of mixes up the standard formula. It lets you actually go amongst your enemies as long as, you know, you aren't violent and you stay within certain regions. So you have to sneak a little bit, and then once you get the talisman, I think things get dangerous then. So, I like it, because it just mixes things up. So there. So we're going to be a Hammerite novice. We don't actually get... If you... Uh, I'll mention this in, in a bit. Okay, so we have to find out where the talisman of air is. Of course, this level used to have two talismen in it back when it was in Thief the Dark Project, so I'm curious. I think I'm going to go back and try, see if I can find like the, the intro videos for this level and um, the Lost City, if I can find them on YouTube in the Dark Project form. I'm curious what the differences would be, because they, they must both be mentioned, both the talisman for each of those levels must be mentioned in the cutscene, I'm guessing anyway, in the briefing. Okay. Oh, and while you're looting the place, steal the Hammerite's holy first hammer. Okay. If you say so. No problem. Whoa, 24,000. That's way more than the other levels thus far, isn't it? That's surprising. Oh, don't kill you one. And get out of the temple. All right. Let's see. Gas arrows galore. Yes, please. Uh... Can always do it for a healing potion. And I guess moss arrows. I'm not sure how much tile there is, but there probably will be plenty. Plenty. Now, scroll. What's this? A genuine letter of introduction. Alright. Let's begin this thing after I guess we waste the rest of our money, because why not? There we go! Apparently I must have just fallen from above because I just went, you know, dropped a little bit, so... It's weird, Garrett. Must have hopped over that building or something. I like the ambient sounds here. I don't know where it's coming from. Just kind of in general, I guess. Unless this is like an inn here. Maybe this one is? I don't know, but kind of neat. Is this the right way? I think so, or it can be. Maybe that's the second way in. I know that there's a way you can get in without going through the front gate, and that's what you gotta do if you're trying to ghost this, but I don't really give two dams about that, so... Screw that. Yeah, I'm definitely along the side. I think this is kind of my way out, so... Wrong way. I'll go back around. Let's do this thing. You know, overall, it's kind of interesting to see the differences between how they show the city in Thief 1 and how they show it in Thief 2, because there is some distinct differences, and between the levels and stuff, you know, they kind of do it a little differently. It's kind of cool. Also, you may notice that in the past few missions, the darks have been very light. Well, that's just because YouTube hates the dark. So I figure it's better to have clarity rather than, you know, the darkness. Although I suppose that kind of spoils the mood. 
So I'll be sure to turn down the darkness to make it more dark for the following mission, if you know what I mean. Wow, that's a very lo big, boring, empty wall. Why am I coming around here? Mostly just because I'm curious what's around here. I think I could hop over there if I had like a crate or something, or if I did certain some kind of sneaky cheat or something. I haven't been around here before. I could definitely get over that since I have my rope arrows. Hmm. Give that a shot. Rope arrow, rope arrow, where are you? Don't I? Wait, no, I don't have rope arrows in this mission. That wasn't even an option, was it? I totally forgot about that. Maybe if I was playing this on normal, maybe then, but... What a bunch of windy nonsense here. Clearly, they don't, they don't expect the player to really get back here that much. Maybe they should put a little more attention into some more detail there, but whatever. This is, of course, one of the original Dark Project missions, so... This one was official from the start. Guess I got it. Whoa, I'm not gonna <clears throat> lift my skirt. What you talking about? Uh, do I have it on? Oh, here we go. Guess I just gotta use it nearby. You, you can kind of hear like a dick. You heard a little bit of that because as soon as I frobbed it, some lever was flipped over, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm allowed in and stuff. I've been instructed to STFU. Okay. Open the gate! And you got some crazy Frankenstein monster style shoulders, bro. It's pretty nuts. And these guys again have the triangular thief gold style feet. What happens if he sees me? He doesn't give a piss. Okay. Man, these guys are regret having trouble me. Oh. What? What was that for? Is that because I was up in his face, or was it because I gr stole loot in front of him? I don't know. Uh... Do you see that? Who art thou? Thou art no novice. Alarm! An intruder! Huh? Ye shalt not rob from the house of the builder. Okay, yeah, he did see me stealing. Okay. Okay. What does this do? Does that put me in trouble? Does that make him... Yep, they attacked me then. Okay. I'm just seeing what happens, okay? Because I haven't really played this mission before, so I'm curious. Okay, so there's that piece of loot staring me in the face. I'll probably get that on the way out, actually. Since, uh, on my way out, they're going to be hostile to me anyway. But yeah, either these guys are super duper tall, or Garrett's kind of on the short side. Oh, wow. Wow. We've actually got, uh, got a note on the wall that doesn't require us to go into special note mode. Hmm. Uh, temple patrols are doubled. Great. I'm not sure if that's like a... Wait, wait. Am I allowed in here? Okay, I think I am. Hello. Nothing to steal. Maybe something behind these. Eh. The rules do not permit novices in the barracks, <coughs> as thou should well know. Be off. Jerk face. Man, you are so freaking tall. It's nuts. Oh well. Man, these doors open slow. Foolishness proves its own punishment, but steam burns are a harsh punishment indeed. Still and safe the boy shall live, but may leave the own more foolishness. Fear never shows the true path, only the downslope to corruption. <laughs> okay. This guy's kind of a jerk. Also, he, like, was gesturing and moving for the both of them. That's kind of weird. I like this texture here. It's cool. Kind of strangely used there, but whatever. I like this, though. It's like an arch that fits the texture, kind of, almost. Not quite. Sort of. What have we here? Wall builder. Oh. I'm pretty sure I need this, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, I'm building over the wrong side. Okay. 
I guess this is just kind of a lorgasm for everyone who's curious. Hey, at least they did the right thing here, because this this texture is blown up. But here, unlike back in the Haunted Cathedral, they actually used a cylinder so that only the part they want to show is blown up, for the most part. I like the use of these different kind of textures that are more than just, uh, you know, basic colors and stuff. They've actually got a little bit of, well, texture to them. I like that. So this is going to be kind of me exploring around trying to find what the hell, you know, because I don't know this place. Fearest thou the action on the walls, thugs? Verily. Some have told me it was his own brethren who in sin did turn him in. Thieves betray their own. Now as always. Some weird... Kind of like the little sliver polygon missing there. Odd. So what have we here? Sacred Skull of Saint Yora, huh? Hmm, a builder of vision and devout keeper of the faith. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh. I don't remember this uh, texture, or this model before. Of it being like this wooden thing with the stone and it kind of looked like it's attached by... Like, <clears throat> rope? Huh. I don't recall ever seeing that before. That's cool. I like it. Uh, what I mean is I've never seen that model before in, the, in any of the Thief games or anything, so it surprises me. This is the first hammer, huh? Symbol of their ascent from the Trickster Shadow. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Almost looks like it's a new model or something. Maybe it is. Maybe they got a new model in Thief Gold. Forge's Child. The first cast out of mold, huh? Whoop. Father Tenor. Father Tenor. Ah, that, that's so familiar. Father Tenor, Father Tenor. Well, if he's sainted, that means he's dead. You know, just like in the Catholic faith. Just something to think about, because me as kind of a geek for the series, and someone who does some like, plan some stories that revolve around lore and stuff. You know, this stuff is important and interesting. Okay. Oh boy, we have a lot of stuff here. Uh, I don't think I really want to read all this. I'll just check them to see if there's anything important. If you want to read them, you know, by all means, pause it and do so. A neat thing, though, is that evidently the lore basically goes that the trickster kind of ruled the world sort of like everyone kind of lived in fear of the trickster and then the hammerites came along oh this is important hold on okay we're not printing many keys so we're not allowed to enter restricted areas which have our inverted red hammer all right temple guardsmen don't get keys either but they can go in the restricted areas okay the priests have the keys. Okay, that's important. Uh, the high priest has the master key. That'll be useful if we want to bother to get it, I guess. He also has a holy symbol of the temple. Do we want to steal that? No, that's not the... The first hammer isn't the holy symbol. Unless maybe the talisman of air? I don't think, I don't think the talisman of air is the holy symbol, quote-unquote. Hmm. Okay. These are pretty brief. Which is interesting. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get in trouble if I pull my sword out or not, but I'm going to try this quick. Then I'll see how people react to me. Whoop. Oh. Yeah, of course, I can't slice a picture. Yeah, there's no point to that, so I'm just going to reload just in case. 